Welcome, Geminis. This is your Taurus season reading. Um, the season begins from um, April 20th until May uh, 20th. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Please remember, like, share, thumbs up, thumbs up these videos. Um, this is the uh, the uh, money reading, my finance, money, and uh, wealth finance money and wealth reading for the season of taurus taurus season is the season of the second house it's about your financial stability um the taurus season shows up um what to expect um in your second house especially between april 20th and um may 20th it has to do with everyone who is working or have a business. This is for everyone who is working or have a, a business. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, what we see is the energy of the Eight of Cups. The situation is not yet over. And uh, the Four of Pentacles. So, um, um, and this could be a situation where some of you were having some sort of a situation at a bank financial institution. You could have been asking for some sort of a financial help. I see they are, they are recognizing something about a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn man. Uh, and uh, they are also having something to do with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarian. They are recognizing what this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarian have done. Now, uh, Geminis, you got to be on top of your game because this is your second house, okay? This has to do with a boss, a supervisor for some of you, is a boss for some of you, is a new contract for some of you, is a um, salary increase for some of you, is some sort of a problem and issues that is going on on the work floor or in within your work environment, your freelance or if you are self-employed. So there is some sort of a situation that is there. So you got to be aware and um, we see um, this could be a situation where um, a lot of you uh, wanted some sort of a, a salary increase, promotion. There could be issues in a bank financial institution with some sort of a contract. Uh, and I see that whatever is going on is not yet over. So you got to be aware of this. And a lot of you are going to be having some sort of an issue with an um, Aries, Leo or Sagittarian person or you're trying to resolve some sort of an issue that this person have created. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, let's look at the Eight of Cups. So, now, whenever the energy is here with the Eight of Cups, what do we know about the energy of the Eight of Cups? The Eight of Cups so basically has to do with a Saturn in Pisces. Okay, and Saturn is in Pisces is about the unseen. There are things that you're not aware of that is going on around you at the workplace or in your uh, with your business or um um in your department. Um, however you think uh, you see this, there are issues because when we have. Uh, um, Saturn in Pisces, there is some sort of disturbance and why where balance need to be bring. So there could be some sort of an issue or some sort of a process that is not running properly, um, some sort of a, a problems that is transpiring and it is not yet over, especially um, when we look at the first week, the first week is from the 20th of April until the 26th. There is going to be some sort of a problems and issues. Um, and you need to um, resolve this because it is costing um, a lot of time and money, okay? Then when we look at the second week, the second week is from the 27th until um, the 3rd of May, and this is the energy of the Four of Pentacles. And what we know from the energy of the Four of Pentacles is the sun in Capricorn, but there is some sort of an instability, all right, the sun in Capricorn, but, you know, whatever is transpiring, um, some of you who works at the accounts department, the sales department, the, the um, uh, um, 
customer uh, um, department, there could be some sort of uh, issues, okay? People who also work in the HR department, there could be some sort of uh, issue. Some of you might um, talk into HR um, for salary increase, that sort of a situation. And uh, anything to do with money, whether you're asking for salary increase uh, or you're applying for a job and is, uh, I see um, a lot of you are trying to resolve some sort of a contract uh, agreement, okay? Some sort of agreement, um, new contracts. Uh, and uh, I see a, a lot of you are going to be working on that in order to resolve it with HR, okay? Or in order to, to resolve some sort of a situation um, with the salary, the salary department, okay, there is uh, going to be some sort of an issue in the salary department or in HR um, or with you and someone with some sort of a contract that you were trying to balance uh, um, out, um, however, that is coming up or, uh, and um, there is, uh, there is going to be issue when we look at salary department, uh, um, the loan department, uh, there is going to be some sort of an imbalance. So um, it could be that some of you are short paid and that sort of a thing. Some of you um, could recognize that your pension wasn't paid. That sort of a thing could be coming up because this is the energy of the second house. So, and this is the sun in Capricorn, but there is some sort of an issue there. Okay. Then um, we're looking at the third week. The third week as the energy of... Uh, May uh, 4th until May 10th. And I see some sort of a problem with uh, uh, some sort of a teamwork could be coming up for some of you. So people in your team, there could be some sort of a disagreement with people in your team or people on the work floor or if people who um, some sort of a collaboration. Uh, some of you could have been in a network and that sort of a thing. And there could be some sort of a problems with the teamwork. OK, so you got to be aware of that and you got to recognize um, um, that teamwork um, plays. But there could be someone who is creating a whole lot of issues when it comes on um, to you getting um, on doing your work. And uh, there could be other people that is creating um, some sort of a problem. OK, because they're not really connecting with you um, at this timeline. And you got to recognize that uh, you have to um, step back and uh, um, make that changes for yourself. So you got to step back uh, and then you're going to be trying to make changes for yourself. OK, so the energy of the two of cups is about... Uh, Venus in Cancer, okay? So a lot of you um, could be having some sort of a problems with a Cancer, some sort of a disagreement with a Cancer, okay? That means uh, um, you and a Cancer on the work floor is not seen eye to eye. So you got to be aware of this or a Cancer could be actually creating some sort of a issues behind your back that you're not aware of. So um, be aware of this. But I see that they they are the one that is in the problems, okay? Um, and for some of you, a Cancer, um, be aware, a Cancer could be going to um, your supervisor or your boss or your manager about you and creating some sort of a situation. So you gotta be aware of who this cancer is for a lot of you. Then we look at the fourth and last week, the week of May, uh, fourth until May 20th. Week of, uh, no, May 11 until May 20th. The week of May 11 until May 20th, you're dealing with an Aries Leo or a fire sign man. Now, whoever this Aries Lee or Fire Sign man is, for some of you, this man could have promised you some sort of a salary, salary increase or promise you to extend your contract or promise you to get you some sort of a contract and it is not happening. Okay, it is as if this man promises something and he cannot give you what he has promised. And now I, you know, you, um, Gemini are recognizing, you know, this man, you know, holds you and promises you something that he cannot deliver. And I see some of you are like, 
um, you know, this is crazy. This is really crazy. Some of you are really recognizing how crazy um, this situation is because it is as if uh, you were promised this uh, um, maybe for a year now, that sort of a thing, or, um, you know, you were temporary and this person promised to take you on and now you're getting the runaround. Um, that sort of a situation or this um, person is trying to give you some sort of a runaround and the, you know you're really recognizing that this person was full of hair because they um, promise you things that they could not come up with and a lot of you are going to be recognize this in this uh, Taurus season okay so be aware of this so it could be a business for it now or it could be someone who promised to get you um, some sort of a position and then you recognize that this person um, promise is not based on reality okay and you're going to be recognizing this so what I would advise you guys to do is to go check out the extended choose one of these symbols to see how to um, deal with the situation and um, um, recognize that sometimes when things doesn't work out for you it is better, um, something better is going to be coming up. So whatever that was going on and just understand that there is definitely something better that is going to be coming up. A lot of you could be having some sort of an issue with a Pisces on the work floor. Some of you could be having some sort of an issue with a Capricorn on the work floor. Some of you could be having some sort of an issue with a Cancer on the work floor. And you Gemini have to be careful of a Cancer. This Cancer might be given... Um, an Aries, a uh, Leo or Sagittarian person, um, some sort of uh, information and working against uh, you, Gemini. So you got to be aware of a Cancer, okay? Whoever this Cancer is, is trying to buy themselves uh, and get in a position. And it is not going to be working out for them, but it's okay. You are already aware of it. So if there was some sort of a position that was open up, Gemini's, I see a Cancer is kissing up to the boss um, because they are hoping that this position will come in their favor, but it's not going to be happening, all right? So I want to say thank you so much. Please remember to like, share, and thumbs up. I will speak to you next um, time when we're, you choose the crystal. We can look how we're going to be resolving this issue. I gotta go. Namaste until next time. Oh. <laughs>